सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक गणित प्रकाश टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास सिक्स पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन चैप्टर नंबर नाइन सिमिट्री एक्सप्लोर अराउंड यू यू मे फाइंड मेनी ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट कैच योर अटेंशन सम सच थिंग्स वी हैव अ पिक्चर अ फ्लावर बटरफ्लाई रंगोली a pin wheel there is something beautiful about the pictures given the flower observe the same from many different angles what about the butterfly no doubt the colors are very attractive but what else about the butterfly appeals to you in these pictures it appears that some parts of the figure are repeated and these repetitions seem to occur in a definite pattern can you explore what repeats in the beautiful rangoli figure page number 218 in these rangoli the red petals come back onto themselves when the flower is rotated by 90 degrees around the center and so do the other parts of the rangoli what about the pinwheel can you spot Which pattern is repeating? Hint provided is find the hexagon first. Now, can you say what figure repeats along each side of the hexagon? What is the shape of the figure that is stuck to each side? Do you recognize it? How do these shapes move as you move along the boundary of the hexagon? What about the other pictures? What is it? about those structures that appeals to you and what are the patterns in those structures that repeat on the other hand look at this picture of clouds there is no such repetitive pattern you find a picture of clouds given here we can say that the first four figures are symmetrical and the last one is not symmetrical a symmetry refers to a part or parts of a figure that are repeated in some definite pattern here you find a picture of taj mahal and a picture of gopuram temple what are the symmetries at in these beautiful structures page number 219 line of symmetry The figure given here is the picture of a blue triangle with a dotted line. What if you fold the triangle along the dotted line? Yes, one half of the triangle covers the other half completely. These are called mirror halves. What about figure B with the four puzzles pieces and a dotted line passing through the middle? are they mirror halves no when we fold along the line the left half does not exactly fit over the right half a line that cuts a figure into two parts that exactly overlap when folded along that line is called a line of symmetry of the figure figure it out first question do you see any line of symmetry in the figures at the start of the chapter what about in the picture of the cloud question number 2 for each of the given figures identify the lines of symmetry if it exists you are given some pictures of a kite a trapezium l shaped letter and a triangle page number 220 figures with more than one line of symmetry does a square have only one line of symmetry take a square piece of paper by folding find all its lines of symmetry here are the different folds giving different lines of symmetry fold the paper into half vertically then fold it again into half horizontally that is you have folded it twice now open out the folds we have a vertical fold 
given in the picture and one horizontal fold expressed in the picture again fold the square into half for a third time now but this time along a diagonal as given in the picture again open it page number 221 fold it into half for the fourth time but this time along the other diagonal as given in the figure open out the fold is there any other way to fold the square so that the two halves overlap how many lines of symmetry does the square shape have thus figures can have multiple lines of symmetry the figures here have multiple lines of symmetry can you find them all we have different figures given here of a floral pattern and a symmetrical symbol we find that the diagonal of a square is also a line of symmetry let's take a rectangle that is not a square is its diagonal a line of symmetry first explore the rectangle and answer this question then take a rectangular piece of paper and check if the two parts overlap by folding it along its diagonal what do you observe reflection so far we have been saying that when we fold a figure along a line of symmetry the two parts overlap completely we could also say that the part of the figure on one side of the line of symmetry is reflected by the line to the other side similarly the part of the figure on the other side of the line of symmetry is reflected to the first side let us understand this by labeling some points on the figure the figure here is of a square with its corners labeled a b c and d let us first consider the vertical line of symmetry page number 222 when we reflect the square along this line the points b c on the right get reflected to the left side and occupy the positions occupied earlier by a and d what happens to the points a and d a occupies the position occupied by b and d that of c a picture of square a b c d is given here with a line in between representing the line of symmetry what if we reflect along the diagonal from a to c where do points a b c and d go what if we reflect along the horizontal line of symmetry a figure that has a line or lines of symmetry is thus also said to have reflection symmetry generating shapes having lines of symmetry so far we have explored symmetrical figures and asymmetrical figures how does one generate such symmetrical figures let us explore this ink blot devils you enjoyed doing this earlier in class 5 take a piece of paper fold it in half open the paper and spill a few drops of ink or paint on one half now press the halves together and then open the paper again what do you observe is the resulting figure symmetric if yes where is the line of symmetry is there any other line along which it can be folded to produce two identical parts try making more such patterns page number 223 paper folding and cutting here is another way of making symmetric shapes in these two figures a sheet of paper is folded and a cut is made along the dotted line draw a sketch of how the paper will look when unfolded do you find a line of symmetry in this figure 
What is it? Make different symmetric shapes by folding and cutting. There are more ways of folding and cutting pieces of paper to get symmetric shapes. Use thin rectangular colored paper. Fold it several times and create some intricate patterns by cutting the paper like the one given here. Identify the lines of symmetry in the repeating design. Use such decorative paper cutouts for festive occasions. Figure it out. Punching game. The fold is a line of symmetry. Punch holes at different locations of a folded square sheet of paper using a punching machine and create different symmetric patterns. Here you find pictures of folded paper with holes punched on them. Page number 224 First, in each of the following figures, a hole was punched in a folded square sheet of paper and then the paper was unfolded. Identify the line along which the paper was folded. Figure D was created by punching a single hole. How was the paper folded? Here we have four pictures in which figure A we find a square paper with two holes at the center and here we find four figures given in which we have in part A two holes in the middle of the paper. In B we have two holes at one corner of the squared paper. In figure C we have two holes on the right side of the paper and in figure D we have four holes at the corners of the squared paper. Question number 2. Given the lines of symmetry, find the other holes. Here we find five different pictures. In picture A and B we have two squares. In the first, a diagonal is the line of symmetry and we find a hole on the left corner. In picture B, we have line of symmetry in the middle of the paper and a hole on the lower portion of the square. In picture C, we have a triangle with a line of symmetry in between and a hole on the left upper portion of the triangle. In picture D, we have a circle with a line of symmetry in the middle and a hole on the right side. And in picture E, we again have a circle with line of symmetry and a hole at the top corner. Question number 3. Here are some questions on paper cutting. Consider a vertical fold. We represent it in this way. Picture of a paper with a vertical fold is given here. Page number 225. Similarly, a horizontal fold is represented as given here. We have a picture of a squared paper with a horizontal fold given here. Question number 4. After each of the following cuts, predict the shape of the hole when the paper is opened. After you have made your prediction, make the cutouts and verify your answer. In picture A, we have a folded paper on which a figure is seen in dotted lines and in the next picture, we have a scissors cutting along the dotted lines. In B portion, we have a folded paper on which we have a symbol of a rectangular figure. In C, we have folded paper and which is having a vertical fold. And in figure D, we are given figure with squared paper 
with the vertical fold and two cuttings on the left and right side of the paper page number 226 question number 5 suppose you have to get each of these shapes with some folds and a single straight cut how will you do it a the hole in the center of a square we have a picture of a square with a square cut inside the square b the hole in the center is a square we have a picture of a square again with a twisted square inside the square note for the above two questions check if the four sided figures in the center satisfy both the properties of a square question number 6 how many lines of symmetry do these shapes have a we have a tilted square and a, a geometrical pattern b a triangle with two sides and equal angles page number 227 c a hexagon with equal sides and equal angles here we have a picture of a regular hexagon which has six sides question number 7 trace each figure and draw the lines of symmetry if any we are given some pictures of parallelograms which are three in number arranged in various ways first one we find all the three parallelograms together and in the second one we find the three parallelograms just touching each other in the next picture we have four parallelograms arranged together and in the fourth figure we have two rectangles overlapping each other which look like a cross on a squared paper we have some patterns given here one square inside another square and we have here the picture of a octagon in another picture we have pentagon and a star given in the squared paper page number 228 question number 8 find the lines of symmetry for the column we have a dotted pattern on which the figures of stars and parallelograms are given here question number 9 draw the a a triangle with exactly one line of symmetry b a triangle with exactly three lines of symmetry c a triangle with no line of symmetry is it possible to draw a triangle with exactly two lines of symmetry question number 10 draw the explore the in each case the figure should contain at least one curved boundary a a figure with exactly one line of symmetry b a figure with exactly two lines of symmetry c a figure with exactly four lines of symmetry question number 11 copy on squared paper complete them so that the blue line is a line of symmetry problem a has been done for you in the first figure we find a line of symmetry and shape of a triangle on the right side we complete the figure by on the other part of line of symmetry by making a triangle on the other side similarly we have two patterns given in the squared paper we can complete the picture by keeping in mind the line of symmetry in one we have line of symmetry which is at horizontal way and in the third picture we have it in a diagonal way page number 229 here also we find some pictures here with lines of symmetry on a squared paper the hint provided is in c and f we can see if rotating of the book helps 
in completing the figures. Question number 12. Copy the given drawing on squared paper. Complete each one of them so that the resulting figure has the two blue lines as lines of symmetry. We have six different pictures here with blue lines and patterns given over here to complete on the squared paper. Page number 230. Question number 13. Copy the given drawing on a dot grid. For each figure, draw two more lines to make a shape that has a line of symmetry. We are given dot papers on which some line segments are joined. 9.2 Rotational Symmetry The paper windmill in the picture looks symmetrical but there is no line of symmetry. However, if you fold it, the two halves will not exactly overlap. On the other hand, if you rotate it by 90 degrees about the red point at the center, the windmill looks exactly the same. We have picture of a windmill given here. We say that the windmill has rotational symmetry. When talking of rotational symmetry, there is always a fixed point about which the object is rotated. This fixed point is called the center of rotation. Will the windmill display the same when rotated through an angle of less than 90 degrees? No, an angle through which a figure can be rotated to look exactly the same is called an angle of rotational symmetry or just an angle of symmetry for short. Page number 231. For the windmill, the angles of symmetry are 90 degrees, quarter turn, 180 degrees, half turn, 270 degrees, three quarter turn and 360 degrees, full turn. Observe that when any figure is rotated by 360 degrees, it comes back to its original position. So, 360 degrees is always an angle of symmetry. Thus, we find that the windmill has four angles of symmetry. Do you know of any other shape that has exactly four lines of symmetry? How many angles of symmetry does a square have? How much rotation does it require to get the initial square? We get back a square overlapping with itself after 90 degrees of rotation. This takes point A to the position of point B, point B to the position of point C, point C to the position of point D and point D back to the position of point A. Do you know where to mark the center of rotation? Here we find pictures in which we have imaginary reference line represented by dotted black line and a square with A, B, C, D. In the next picture, B, C, D, A with initial position and line after rotation which is represented in red. This is square after rotation. So, A, B, C, D has now become B, C, D, A. What are the other angles of symmetry? In this, the square has come to position C, D, A, B with initial position in black and 180 degrees rotation line after rotation is given in red. Next, the square has taken the position D, A, B, C with initial position in black and after 270 degrees rotation in red, the line after rotation is given here. Again comes back the original position of the square A, B, C, D after 360 degrees of rotation. 
page number 232. Example, find the angles of symmetry of observe strip. We have picture of a strip with a dot at the center. Solution, let us rotate the strip in a clockwise direction about its center. We have an inverted image of the given strip. A rotation of 180 degrees results in the figure given here. Does this overlap with the original figure? No. Why? Another rotation through 180 degrees from this position gives the original shape. This figure comes back to its original shape only after one complete rotation through 360 degrees. So, we say that this figure does not have rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry of figures with radial arms. Consider this figure a picture with four radial arms. How many angles of symmetry does it have? What are they? Note that the angle between adjacent central dotted lines is 90 degrees. Can you change the angles between the radial arms so that the figure still has four angles of symmetry? Try drawing it. To check if the figure drawn indeed has four lines of symmetry, you could draw the figure on two different pieces of paper. Cut out the radial arms from one of the papers. Keep the figure on the paper fixed and rotate the cutout to check for rotational symmetry. How will you modify the figure observe so that it has only two angles of symmetry? Here we have a picture of four radial arms with 90 degrees angle between them. Page number 233. Here is another way. We find another picture here with 90 degrees of radial arms. We have figures having 4 and 2 lines of symmetry. Can we get a figure having exactly 3 lines of symmetry? Can you use radial arms for this? Let's try with 3 radial arms as in the figure here. How many angles of symmetry does it have and what are they? Here is a figure with three radial arms. You find a picture here with three radial arms. Trace and cut out a copy of this figure. By rotating the cut out over this figure, determine its angles of rotation. We find that only a full turn or a rotation of 360 degrees will bring the figure back into itself. So, this figure does not have rotational symmetry as 360 degrees is its only angle of symmetry. However, can anything in the figure be changed to make it have three angles of symmetry? Page number 234. Can it be done by changing the angles between the dotted lines? If a figure with three radial arms should have rotational symmetry, then a rotated version of it should overlap with the original. Here are rough diagrams of both of them. If these two figures must overlap, what can you tell about the angles? We have two different pictures given here in which we have Angle A, Angle B and Angle C are different positions. Observe that Angle A must overlap Angle B. Angle B must overlap Angle C and Angle C must overlap Angle A. So, Angle A is equal to Angle B is equal to Angle C. What must this angle be? We know that a full turn has 360 degrees. This is equally distributed amongst 
these three angles. So, each angle must be 360 degrees divided by 3 that is equal to 120 degrees. So, the radial arms figure with three arms indicates rotational symmetry. When the angle between the adjacent dotted lines is 120 degrees, use paper cutouts to verify this observation. Now, how many angles of rotation does the figure have? And what are they? We have three radial arms with initial position. In the next picture, after 120 degrees rotation. In the next picture, after 240 degrees, that is 120 degrees plus 120 degrees rotation. And in the last picture, we have after 360 degrees, that is 120 degrees plus 120 degrees plus 120 degrees rotation. Note that the colors have been added to show the rotations. Page number 235. Let's explore more figures. Can you draw a figure with radial arms that has A. Exactly 5 angles of symmetry B. 6 angles of symmetry Also find the angles of symmetry in each case. The hint provided is Use 5 radial arms for the first case. What should the angle between two adjacent radial arms be? Consider a figure with radial arms having exactly 7 angles of symmetry. What will be its smallest angle of symmetry? Is the number of degrees a whole number in this case? If not, express it as a mixed fraction. Let us find the angles of symmetry for other kinds of figures. Figure it out. Question number 1. Find the angles of symmetry for the given figures about the point marked as a dot. We have three different pictures here in which we have a dot in the center. Question number 2. Which of the following figures have more than one angle of symmetry? You need to find out from the given figures. We can find the dots at the center of the figures. Page number 236. Question number 3. Give the order of rotational symmetry for each figure. Here we find 6 different figures with the center points marked. Let us list the angles of symmetry for all the cases. Angles of symmetry when there are exactly 2 of them. 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Angles of symmetry when there are exactly 3 of them. 120 degrees, 240 degrees, 360 degrees. Angles of symmetry when there are exactly 4 of them. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees. Do you observe something common about the angles of symmetries in these cases? The first set of numbers are all multiples of 180. The second are all multiples of 120. The third are all multiples of 90. In each case, the angles are the multiples of the smallest angle. You may wonder and ask if this will always happen. What do you think? True or false? Every figure will have 360 degrees as an angle of symmetry. Page number 237. If the smallest angle of symmetry of a figure is a natural number in degrees, then it is a factor of 360. Is there a smallest angle of symmetry for all figures? It turns out that this is the case for most figures, except 
for the most symmetric shapes like the circle whose symmetries we now discuss symmetries of a circle the circle is a fascinating figure what happens when you rotate a circle clockwise about its center it coincides with itself it does not matter what angle you rotate it by so for a circle every angle is an angle of symmetry here is a picture of a wheel which is given in a rolling position now take a point on the rim of the wheel and join it to the center extend the segment to a diameter of the circle is that diameter a line of reflection symmetry it is every diameter is a line of symmetry like wheels we can find other objects around us having rotational symmetry find them pictures of some of them are given here here the pictures of a fan a flower and a wheel are given page number 238 figure it out question number 1 color the sectors of the circle given here so that the figure has part 1 three angles of symmetry part 2 four angles of symmetry part 3 what are the possible numbers of angles of symmetry you can obtain by coloring the sectors in different ways question number 2 draw two figures other than a circle and a square that have both reflection symmetry and rotational symmetry question number 3 draw wherever possible a rough sketch of a a triangle with at least two lines of symmetry and at least two angles of symmetry b a triangle with only one line of symmetry but not having rotational symmetry c a quadrilateral with rotational symmetry but no reflection symmetry d a quadrilateral with reflection symmetry but not having rotational symmetry question number 4 in a figure 60 degrees is the smallest angle of symmetry what are the other angles of symmetry of this figure question number 5 in a figure 60 degrees is an angle of symmetry the figure has two angles of symmetry less than 60 degrees what is its smallest angle of symmetry question number 6 can we have a figure with rotational symmetry whose smallest angle of symmetry is a 45 degrees b 17 degrees page number 239 question number 7 here there is a picture of a new parliament building in delhi which is triangular in shape part a does the outer boundary of the picture have reflection symmetry if so draw the lines of symmetries how many are they part b does it have rotational symmetry around its center if so find the angles of rotational symmetry question number 8 how many lines of symmetry do the shapes in the first shape sequence in chapter 1 table number 3 the regular polygons have what number sequence do you get question number 9 how many angles of symmetry do the shapes in the first shape sequence in chapter 1 table number 3 the regular polygons have what number sequence do you get question number 10 how many lines of symmetry do the shapes in the last shape sequence in chapter 1 table number 3 the koch snowflake sequence have how many angles of symmetry question number 11 how many lines of symmetry and angles of symmetry does ashok chakra have 
there is a picture of Ashok Chakra given here. Playing with tiles. A. Use the color tiles given at the end of the book to complete the given figure so that it has exactly two lines of symmetry. B. Use 16 such tiles to make figures that have exactly one line of symmetry, two lines of symmetry. C. Use these tiles in making creative symmetric designs. Page number 240. This page has a square grid with some colored, colored tiles with a pattern. You need to complete this pattern with the help of color tiles provided at the end of the book. Page number 241. Game. Draw a 6 by 6 grid. Two players take turns covering two adjacent squares by drawing a line. The line can be placed either way, horizontally or vertically. The lines cannot overlap. The game goes on till a player is not able to place any more lines. The player who is not able to place a line loses. With what strategy one can play to win this game? There is a 6 by 6 grid given here and two dots in two different grids are joined with the help of a line. And we are not allowed to overlap the two lines. Summary When a figure is made up of parts that repeat in a definite pattern, we say that the figure has symmetry. We say that such a figure is symmetrical. A line that cuts a plane figure into two parts that exactly overlap when folded along that line is called a line of symmetry or axis of symmetry of the figure. A figure may have multiple lines of symmetry. Sometimes a figure looks exactly the same when it is rotated by an angle about a fixed point. Such an angle is called an angle of symmetry of the figure. A figure that has an angle of symmetry strictly between 0 and 360 degrees is said to have rotational symmetry. The point of the figure about which the rotation occurs is called the center of rotation. A figure may have multiple angles of symmetry. Some figures may have a line of symmetry but no angle of symmetry while others may have angles of symmetry but no lines of symmetry. Some figures may have both lines of symmetry as well as angles of symmetry. Chapter 9 ends here. Ganit Prakash, you were just listening to this audio book, Textbook of Mathematics for Grade 6. Narration, Swarnlata, Academic Coordinator, Dr. Prakash Vadigar. Technical Coordination, Bati Lang Lingdo. Sound Recordist, Manju Kumari and Virendra Rawat. Assistance in Production, Surendra Kumar. Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.